Hello and welcome to the 25th TLDR. 25 episodes feels like a nice little milestone, so if you're a regular here, then thanks very much for supporting us. If this is your first time, then hold on tight, we're about to run through the biggest talking points that we've seen this week at Game On Daily. Fifteen million players logged on to experience Fortnite's season finale, and countless more will have tuned in to share the moment with their favourite streamers as well. The event saw players flying bomb-laden battle buses at the imposing figure of Galactus, and proved that Fortnite isn't slinking out of relevance anytime soon. Chapter 2 Season 5 is underway now, and the Disney link-up continues with the ever-popular Mandalorian taking centre stage, and God of War's Kratos takes up a supporting role for players on PlayStation platforms. Microsoft have acquired esports platform Smash.gg for an undisclosed amount. Smash.gg is a self-service esports platform, providing tools that let players and communities arrange their own competitive events around their favourite games. It takes its name from Nintendo's Super Smash Bros. games, and got a lot of its popularity from the competitive scene that thrives around those, but it does support all manner of other games as well. It's exciting times for Smash GG, we don't really know what it's going to mean long term, but for now it's running business as usual, and will continue providing the same services for the foreseeable future. The biggest game release of the week has to be Ubisoft's Immortals Phoenix Rising. Several reviews for the game are drawing comparisons with Zelda Breath of the Wild, with praise for the art style, there's a little more division over the sense of humour that's prevalent through the game. Phoenix Rising is available on Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Google Stadia. <sighs> there are links to several reviews in the description of this video. Worms Rumble takes the Worm series' familiar turn-based multiplayer warfare and turns it on its head with a real-time, anything-goes, 32-player battle royale. Check these reviews from Gertlush Gaming, Push Square, and Eurogamer to find out if they think it works. Worms Rumble is the PlayStation Plus game for December, and you can download it now on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. It also supports crossplay with the PC version that's available on Steam. Kronos Before the Ashes is out now, and the origins of this one are a little unusual. Kronos was a very early Oculus Rift game that reviewed well, but it had a tiny audience. The studio didn't give up on the universe that they had created, and they moved it to a more traditional flat or pancake presentation for PC and consoles. That game was Remnant from the Ashes. Kronos Before the Ashes is a pancake remaster of Rift's Kronos, with the name formally tying the two game settings together. It's a Souls-like game with an interesting take on character progression as your character ages upon death. God is a Geek and Gertlush Gaming arrive at similar scores, and you should check out their reviews if you want to find out more. And finally, Haven came from nowhere to score a great review from Hey Poor Player. It's made by the Game Bakers, who were responsible for 2016's ever so stylish Fury. Haven is a very different game, and Hey Poor Player describe it as a mixture of action-adventure and kinetic visual novel with a hint of turn-based RPG elements that feels like the first real new game of the 2020s. The game's coming straight to Game Pass for Xbox and PC, and you can pick it up on PlayStation or Steam if that's where you prefer to play. That's all for this week's TLDR. We've got the release of Cyberpunk 2077 right around the corner, and the Game Awards as well. So check out GameOnDaily.com if you want the latest news on those and everything else going on in gaming. Thanks for watching, enjoy your gaming and have a great week!